back at the Miller Lights. Hawaiian Open, our championship final. Karch Karai and Kent Steffes going up against Sinjin Smith and Randy Stoklos. We started out with 32 teams in this tournament, 28 from the mainland and four from Hawaii. We are down to two. Our first referee, an excellent one, Jim Leonard. And our second official, also a tremendous umpire, Bobby Clark. So the two best working this championship final match, Sinjin Smith and Randy Stoklos, in this double elimination tournament would have to win this one game to 15 and then win a double final. Smith, early digging, action, and the ball goes right out of bounds. So Kent Steffes and Karch Corral, who tied Smith and Stoklos' consecutive uh, win streak. That was not actually not the consecutive win streak, as Steffes, you see his numbers, bulked up to 215. The single season record of 16 tournaments. And the put away. I think the start of this match is so key. You know, with a nine-minute clock and the ability of both of these teams to side out for long periods of time, if one team can get out to a quick early lead and then take control, and I think a lot of the pressure on Randy Stoklos, he's got to jump serve effectively, and he's going to receive an awful lot of serves, has to side out in return. Smith with a dig. Joust coming. No. Step is going over the top. If you take a good look at Kent Steffes, he is bigger than Karch Karai now. He is bulked up, more Karch weightlifting. Karai His arms are just huge. As Karai listed at 232 years old, he's really racking up the numbers. 22 wins yeah. in his last 29 zero, zero score. Talk to Bob Alley, who's a strength and conditioning coach at UCLA, and uh, Steffes' personal trainer uh, during the offseason. He said Steffes bench oh, pressing upwards of 300 pounds mm -hmm. and just really, really working hard. Also doing a lot of jump training out on the track at UCLA. Arch has not been jump serving well in this tournament so far. Stoklos has been hitting well. Bombs one through. So Randy Stoklos. Sees the ball go to his partner, Sinjin Smith. Sinjin Smith and Randy Stoklos, partners for so many years. You see all time beach wins going to Smith, 133. And shank pass, free ball. And Stoklos left hands it over the top. And Smith saying to Stoklos, thank gosh you made that one because that was kind of an awkward looking yeah, play. Yeah, an awkward play, but uh, the little left-handed jab right here. There's a big heavyweight fight, maybe not so big. I don't know if Michael Dokes can give, uh, well, maybe he could take you, but uh, <laughs> I could take him 15 rounds maybe. I don't know, but uh, left-handed jab for the first score. Stephas down the line. Michael could take me or Dokes. Just half that team could take me. <laughs> AVP career win leader Smith Stoklos, Ron Von Hagen, the great one at 62. He also won a tournament when he was 38. Hovland Dodd, Karai Mingus, the great Ron Lang, and Kent Steffes, five behind Lang. A serve by Steffes. A serve. And Karai and Steffes are on the board. We're tied at one. You know, that's a really remarkable stat. Steffes is only 23 years of age to beat, he's 24, going to be 25 early in this summer, and he's already up to 35 wins. Uh, he's got to be the youngest player ever anywhere near that mark so for lots of reasons. Wide, there weren't so many out. tournaments, obviously. Exactly. We've, we've talked about that over and over again, but in, in the modern era, he's gotten off to a phenomenal that start so the early stage of his career. Steffes won 18 Come last on. year, two Come with on. Johnson, and 16 with Karch Garai. Good serve. Nobody, nobody, nobody! And Karch taps it down. Kind of an interesting start to the Pro Beach Tour. Karch Karai around for the entire year, the first time since yep. anybody can remember that he's been on the circuit. Going to play a full schedule this year. No Italian uh, commitments, no commitments with a U.S. national team. And, uh, you know, Karch told me, I, I talked to him last week from his home in San Clemente. He said, you know, for the first time in maybe 10 years, he took, he took two months off after the end of the Pro Beach season and really didn't do anything. He needed the time off physically and mentally just to recuperate after years and years of, of pounding, be it indoors or, or out on the beach, and just wanted to just relax and did that and just starting to train now. Got out here in 1990 on leave from international play. Of course, Karch Karai played with that. Uh, fantastic volleyball team, Il Massagero in Roma, where he was paid a million dollars last year at the net. And his partner, Kent Steffes, will serve. Good. And Good hit, good dig. Number two point coming up, yes. That's just the balanced teamwork of Kirai and Steffes. 
take turns blocking, take turns playing defense. And, you know, Karai, known around the world as one of the top defensive players ever, possibly indoors and out on the beach. But Steffes, I think, really coming on as a defensive player. Trouble? To Karch, they joust, and Karch jams him. Smith made the save, but it went over the net. And that's one of the reasons Karai and Steffes want to serve Stoklos, because sometimes he can miss passes. Well, the shank pass comes in, and it immediately leads to a point for Karai and Steffes, and they're just very confident that if they keep the pressure on Randy Stoklos, he will make an odd error, and they will just creep out to a lead because of their own ability to take care of the ball. By Smith and Stoklos, you're allowed four. We'll take a quick break. We're Coming back, more Miller Lite Hawaiian Open Volleyball after this. Chris Marlowe and Paul Sunderland, Kent Steffes with the serve. His team ahead by two, three to one. Our championship final at Stoklos buries one. Through the block, big for out. Okay, the defensive strategy for Kirai and Steffes is to take away Randy Stoklos' cross-court shot on the set that's not very near the net and have uh, Steffes move over and take the, the, all the shots and hits down the line. And that time, ball hit inside of Karch Kirai. Little chicken wing back over by Stoklos. Steffes. And he gets it. So side out to Karai and Steffes. We should tell you that once again, Keller Loop Sunglasses by Bausch and Lomb will be pleased to present at the conclusion of this match the Keller Loop Kill Award, the player that ends up with the most kills in the final or the double final or any combination of the finals will receive $500 from Bausch and Lomb. Steffes, he got his armpit and maybe got a couple of those hairs tangled in the twine. Well, he was indeed way over the net. Has the habit of raising that arm first. Yeah. Signals behind got way, way over the net, but did contact the top of the tape with his arm violation. Three to one, Steffes and Cry lead by two. And off. Steffes cross court attack over to the side Sinjin out. Smith's shoulder and the side out. Kent Steffes. I'll tell you, play. if the level of play in the first weekend in February is any indication of what we're going to have throughout the summer, it's going to be a phenomenal season. These four players in particular handing the ball beautifully, but we had Hovland and Dodd and Lewis and Whitmarsh and Frohoff and Ludies and several other teams really showing good ball control for this early in the season. I mean, we're in Honolulu, but it's still the middle of winter on the mainland and not that much time for these players to be able to get outdoors and train in the sand. Stoklos, his team trailing by two. Karch. Got it. Karch garage. Karch to the right side. Side out. He'll you know, you up, talked, uh, Paul, about Karch in the offseason. One of the things he did, he wanted to Karch clean out his Bruce. garage. He had some extra equipment in there. He went in his garage, and he gave away to charity all the shoes that he, had, he accumulated, the new shoes that he had not worn since college. 71 <laughs> pairs of brand-new shoes. He is the... Well, Ike Meldos, <laughs> Imeldo Marcos of Beach Volleyball. He gave him away, starts with a dig, to a charity down in Newport Beach that gives him away to needy kids. So close. Steffes was there. The ball had cleared. Karai and Steffes off to that all-important early lead. 7.07 to go in this game. We'll take a side change as Karch Karai hovering at the top. Ken Steffes is now the king of the beach. A little earlier we asked him, what does it mean to be the new king? Well, when I was young, the king of the beach were my heroes, and I always wanted to be just like them. And now that I've won the most tournaments in the year and I'm the king of the beach, it's just a dream come true. Magical. We're going to come back with more of the Miller Lite Hawaiian Open. Brian Steffes ahead of Smith and Stoklos. The Kings of the Beach have the lead over Sinjin Smith and Randy Stoklos. As the crowd packed in to watch Men's Pro Beach Volleyball, the first tournament of the year. It's hot, it's humid. But the fans are here, and Karch Karai will serve it up. Now, just to clarify, Karch Karai is the Old Spice King of the Beach. He won the individual tournament that's held at the end of the year. Kent Steffes is the official King of the Beach, the mythical King of the Beach. And Steffes pokes, got it! So King 1 and King 2 make a pretty good play. 
Say it may only be February, but they're playing like August right now. The tans aren't as dark as they will be in a couple of months, but the defense is there. The pokey, nothing that Sinjin Smith could do about that. Just a great defensive effort by Kirai and Stepas. Still close. Carts with a dig. It's five to one, Kirai Stephas. Smith. And angling on the line. Good call by Randy Stoklos. Execution by Smith. Smith Stoklos have to find a way to score a point, and they can do it serving very tough, obviously, but uh, need something to happen here. Kirai and Stephas have controlled this final so far, up 5 1. Smith. Trailing by four. Steffes. And Steffes goes Shot right down the, right down the line. Good for side out for Interestingly, Ken Steffes at the end of last year was ranked number two on the tour. The computer ranked Karch Karai number one, even though Ken Steffes won two more tournaments than Karch. Well, do you know why? Yeah, and I don't agree with it. <laughs> but you can explain. Well, the reason is because Karch had the greatest uh, results in the fewest number of events and you drop one off from the previous years you add another so Karch ended up with higher average rating uh, that's all BS to me didn't a guy say wins it, didn't 18 say it tournaments wasn't... and the other guy wins 16 tournaments that guy should have a higher rating don't you think didn't say it wasn't BS I okay. just figured the folks at home would want to know why exactly cut, cut, cut. I got three. Nobody, nice play nobody. Stokey Come on. can't get it and Stephens does Perhaps Smith and Stoklos have to be a little more aggressive on scoring plays. Well, haven't had too many opportunities. The side-out game of Karai and Steffes has been impeccable, and they have just crept away one at a time, not necessarily scoring two or three points in a row, just taking care of their own side of the net and serving tough. Stoklos can't get there. So Karai and Steffes are mowing through Smith and Stoklos here. And Smith and Stoklos may have to take a timeout here. Look a little frustrated to me, Paul. Well, you know, they're not passing the ball well, and I'm sure this was a final and a tournament that they were really looking forward to. Stokos played virtually all of last year injured. There you see St. John Smith taking the time out right now, and they do need some time to regroup we'll because they are being dominated here early. Good time to thank our friends. All right, Smith and Stokos will think about how to come back on Karai Stephens. Back in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii, the Miller Lite Hawaiian Open. Karai and Stevis out very quickly over Smith and Stoklos, 6-1. to one. I'm Chris Marlowe. My partner is Paul Sunderland. As Smith and Stoklos retake the court, Karch set to put the ball in play. Smith and Stoklos, I don't think they're tired, but they do look no. frustrated. Well, and, and with good reason. You know, Kirai and Steffes are given them virtually no chances to score. And uh, Steffes and Kirai, you know, digging a ball here and there. Shot down Smith puts the ball away. But the, the question is, where are Smith and Stoklos going to get on a run here to get back in this game? Have to put some pressure on Kirai Steffes with the serve. You yeah, were with us in our semifinal. We talked a little about how St. John Smith had bulked up. And you can get an idea of just looking at his upper body, his strength of his arms, bigger, stronger. I think that's what you have to do. Got some guns going. Steffes. Randy, come on. It touched Stoklos, so he has to pop it over. Karch. Booms it. Boy, unleashing. The rest has done Karch Kirai a world of good. And, you know, people don't really understand. You know, you, you play hard for 10 years, and your body just gets worn down. You forget what it's like to go out in a tournament or for a competition and really have a completely fresh set of legs. And, and the mental side to that is, is equally as important. I think you'll come out this year very fresh. Stoklos, so oh, he's stuffed by Karch. First, oh, to one. Point First to one. stuff of this final. It's come down to ball control. Kirai and Steffes have been able to do it with digging and chasing. But Kirai up and just piking right on time to get into Randy Stoklos's angle. Stokey. Nice play by Randy Stoklos. Wind is swirling here at Fort Derussi Beach. If you've ever been over here, it doesn't just blow north or south or east or west. It just kind of goes around in a circle. And the players were telling us in the players' tent that you have to really pick up on the wind. As you can see, it flaps. If it doesn't flap, you have to know when's the wind coming. Changed direction since this morning as well. It was blowing offshore earlier this morning, now blowing onshore, and then will change once again. Still close. Trying to warm one up here. 
Just over six minutes to play in the game. Karayan Steph has big lead, six to one. Watch here. There it is. Over him. Come on. Steph yeah, Lewis. Could be a point coming up. Stump close. They're calling Stoklos over. Stoklos Jim Leonard said Stoklos is over the net on the spike. To Karai and if any part of the ball is the official I'm looking right at it. The ball was on this side. If any part of the ball is on Randy Stoklos' side. Because the ball was over. I think that's a good play. I think that is indeed a good play. I think that is a, a mistake by the officials. If any portion of the ball is on top of the net or on the side of Smith and Stoklos, it's a perfectly legal play for him to go up and swing. And Karai did a very good job of selling the play mm -hmm. by going over and just getting ready to pass the overset. Stoklos is mad and he tattoos one into the sand. Side out. And they're still yelling at the officials. Two of the best on the beach, Jim Leonard and Bobby Clark. They don't miss many. Well, you know, and, and Smith and Stokos are very smart and very experienced. They will use the officiating. They will use the crowd. They will use each other to get themselves pumped up and get back in this game. It's just good gamesmanship and competitiveness. Good serve. And this should be a point. Looking for two here. Stokos. Yes. So a good play by Smith Stoklos, the former Kings. And now, suddenly, they have become the crowd favorites. Well, you know, now they're the underdog. They're the deposed ones. And, uh, you know, Stoklos just recoiling, ripping the ball hard, high and hard at Karchiki Ryan. Sinjin Smith a lot more vocal in this match than uh, I can remember him late last year. Not a bad idea. Try to fire up as Stephas puts the ball down. Let's check kills for the Kill Loop Kill Award. Updation by Mr. Sunderland. Steffes with nine. Smith and Stoklos relatively even. Randy Stoklos with seven kills, but he's received 10 serves to only uh, seven for Smith and Kirai with four kills out of only uh, six receptions. Oh, there we go. Come on, Is that the, the way to beat right Brian Steffes by serving Steffes, do you think? Uh, well, you know, you could ask the players. As I talked about, there's one scenario on the tour this year that says they're going to win 20 tournaments this year because you don't know who to go to. Um, I think it's a real, that's what one of the things that makes them such a great team. Mm -hmm. You don't know who to serve. They both pass the ball extremely well. They set the ball well. At times, Steffes' setting looking. is shaky, okay. so you want to go to Karai. Play. At other times, Steffes makes unforced hitting errors, so you want to go to him. But uh, I'm having trouble answering the question because all apparently. the players, because apparently. All, all the players <laughs> out on the tour are having trouble answering the same questions as well. Bad pass, Smith keeps it alive. Seven to two, Karai Steffes looking for eight. No, Smith with a dig. That time, Steffes over the top. So one half of this game is over. The first half, and it's been a dominating performance by Karai and Steffes. They lead by six. Back in Honolulu, Hawaii, Karch Karai, last year he and Ken Steffes tied the record of 13 in a row. Was he disappointed not to break it? We asked. I'm not disappointed at all. I think it was actually very appropriate to tie because Mengus and Lee are uh, two of the real groundbreakers, among many, like uh, Selznick and Lang and Von Hagen, who gave us this opportunity to play for millions of dollars on the tour. So I liked, I, I didn't mind it at all. It left their names on the record book. Of course, Karch is talking about the great Jim Lee, uh, Jim Mingus and Greg Lee, I should say, a team that won 13 straight back in 1974 and 75. They did it over two seasons. And Karch and Kent won 13 last year and then were upset, but they had a pretty good year. Pretty good year. Steffes won the most money ever on the beach. He won, as you can see, well over 300,000. And his partner, Karch Kirai, won 327,000. And uh, once Karch came back from Italy and they teamed up, they had a phenomenal, phenomenal run. And, and as I said, I don't see any reason why they cannot be as dominant early in this season. And if the rest of the players on the tour hope to crack Karai and Steffes, you can't let them get on a five or six tournament roll at the very beginning of the season. Karai set to serve. His team has the lead, eight to two. Semifinal was a blowout, and this one is turning into a blowout. And off Karch, out of bounds. Give the kill to Sinjin Smith. 
So Sinjin Smith, who won Honolulu last year, then his last win, along with Randy Stoklos, Phoenix, Arizona. Nine seconds, Fort Myers, Clearwater, Austin, San Diego, Boulder, Cape Cod, Manhattan, Cleveland, Santa Barbara. They played well last year, just Watch didn't here. win the tournaments that they had normally been used to winning. As Steppis hits one hard. Well, and that's a, a very distasteful change if you're the winningest team of all time and used to being right on top. They lost their number one seed to Kirai and Steppis. And, and they faced one another six times in the finals of tournaments last year and were uh, 0 for. They were 0 for 6 in those six finals for reasons exactly like this. Just Kirai and Steffes are too what? steady. Kirai Who do you serve? Who knows? You start you somewhere, you score. go another, you don't have an answer. They both block extremely well, so fatigue is not usually a factor. I'm going to give you a chance to go out on a limb and oh, give boy. us your expertise. How many tournaments will Kirai and Steffes win this year? Give me a number right 18. now. 18. Okay. I say more. I say 20. 20 or more. There. Steffes blocked. Nobody, nobody. Karch. And the put away. 18, huh? Yeah, for okay. Is 10 looking at two hour school. Obviously, you've been thinking about asking me that question for days no, just, and have just, plotted it out. No, it just came into my mind. No, I think that would be a... a hey, they could win every one. They could win every tournament, and uh, I would not be surprised. Timeout. So a timeout taken by Sinjin Smith and Randy Stokes. I never plot anything except where I'm going to eat for dinner that night. Al, <laughs> Al, come on up to the stage. I've got a pair of killer loops for you. Up Let's go back to last year, the 1992 Rally of the Year. It was played between these two teams, these four players in San Diego, California. Let's pick it up. Okay, so the kids say, let's play. Steffes. Right to Randy Steffes, got to come back over. That's out. That's ooh. Smith plays it. 40 seconds to go. Cut. Steffes. 35 seconds, the tie, Steffes, no, Smith target, so close, 30 seconds, Kirai, 26 seconds to go, I don't know who was more excited, us or Karch. <laughs> Karch did say that was the rally of the year, and his young partner, Kent Steffes, agreed they went on to win that tournament, uh, as, as we've said, among many others. That's the most excited I've seen Karch since the 88 Olympics. Ever. Maybe on his wedding day. Kent Steffes to serve. It's 10 to 2. Yes. Smith and Stoklos just have all kinds of trouble as Karch turns one down the line. Now 11 to 2. And Kirai and Steffes have been mixing it up more than I thought they would. 12 serves to Randy Stoklos, 10 to Sinjin Smith. But I would venture that the majority of those points, certainly of the 11 they have, have come off serves to Randy Stoklos. Ace. Ace serve for Ken Steffes. Great, great serve cross court. And I'm not sure if he didn't miss that. I think he was trying to go deep middle or slice it off to Sinjin Smith. But... Uh, when you're on a roll and headed for victory number one of the 93 season, you'll take it. Right now. Steffes with a 12-2 lead. 20-second timeout. And a 20-second timeout we'll take taken. 20-second break here on the Sam. Take an opportunity. You With a break in the action, let's take a look now at our upset yeah. of the week. A couple of young kids, Brett Gonerman and Lance Lyons, they beat the number six team, Hanley and Vandeway. That's John Hanley and Brooke Vandeway, 14 to 13. They were down 13 to 10 with eight seconds left to play, and they won in regulation. A couple of spaders, Hanley cut one into the net with one second left to go. Uh, they served Hanley, and he hit it out. And our congratulations to Gonerman and Lyons, the upset special this week. Just down the line it goes Kent Steffes. Just to finish that, I was in the player's tent, and Lance Lyons, who's an excitable young guy from uh, Capo Beach, you know, just said he was incredibly excited about that win. We're going to play with Wes Welch and uh, Larry Meir. But we're rooming with him, and they said if we beat them, we won't have a place to sleep. We're the new kids. we got to sleep under the stage. So they lost to him, or so he says. All right, Karai and Stephens taking it to Smith and Stoklos. Chris Marlowe back with Paul Sunderland. The Miller Lite Honolulu Open. Stephens dominated the tour last year. 
what will motivate him this year? We had a chance to ask him. Well, the motivation comes from the fact that you know every other player hates you and that if they could, they'd run you over with their car. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever it takes, you know. I'm not sure uh, they all hate him. I think there are two or three guys that uh, will have dinner with him out on the tour. Who? Oh. You and me and Karch, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, he is brash. He is outspoken, but he backs it up. And look at that, talking about uh, backing it up. Stokos with the serve. It's been a big route here in our final. Karai and Steph is leading 13 to two. Out of bounds, now 13 to three. looking at 13. As Randy Stokos sets to put the ball in play. Out. And the serve out of bounds. Just a reminder, if you're following uh, Miller Lite Volleyball and AVP Volleyball. Come the next telecast serve. on Prime Network will be that special New York tournament, the Avion Challenge, that will be sometime hey, after the tournament is played, February 20th. You might look for that on your local affiliates. As Karch has it, looking for the set from Steffes. And Karch booms it down the line. So that February 20th tournament, they're bringing in 200 tons of sand in Madison Square Garden. It's going to be a happening in the middle of winter in New York as Pro Beach Volleyball gets there. So our championship, well, we've just about run out of stories, haven't we, Paul? 14 to three as Karch and Kent cleaning up Smith and Stoklos. They played brilliantly. Block. And Karch could not go. Smith and Stoklos stay alive. I think if you're talking about wins and losses in this tournament, where this tournament was won, when Karch and Kent yeah. were able yeah. to defeat Smith and Stoklos in the winner's bracket final. Well, and that is so often a turning point uh, in a competition where it's a double elimination format. Uh, Smith and Stoklos had to come out and ex expend more energy, although not that much against Whitmarsh and Lewis because Mike Whitmarsh was tired and injured his back. But that extra game, it just takes away more from your mental concentration on the task at hand, and that's winning the championship. Second championship points. Smith and Stoke goes up against it. Come on. Come on, angle, angle. And step us a beautiful dig. And back over the top. Now, Paul, you were talking about all the great matches. You have to go back to another match. Uh, Eric Wirtz and Troy Tanner playing against Karch and Kent a little earlier, and they lost by a couple. That was another key match for the team of Karai and Steffes. They just barely pulled it out. Well, and not without controversy. Yeah. And we'll get to that after this side out or point, whichever it may be, side out for Karch Karai. The score is tied, and there's 33 seconds left on the clock. Eric Wirtz serves out. I glance up at the clock, and it's like 32-2 on the clock. And I glance up again, and it's 25-2 and they forgot to, to stop the clock. Wurtz and Mir go absolutely crazy. And uh, Wurtz and Tanner, I should say, and they're saying we need the time back. A long, long, long rally ensues. Kirai and Steffes get a point, and Wurtz and Tanner would, if they had the eight seconds, have had a chance to tie, but the officials would not uh, rectify the mistake, and uh, Tanner and Wurtz were uh, not happy. They had played extremely well. And they played well in this tournament, and Steffes here, dug by Smith. Beautiful dig. And dug right back. Steffes. Yes. Steffes. Okay, Steffes has that noodle arm. I tell you, when you're as young as he is and trains at the game physically and technically as it's much as It's a big noodle. Play. It's a fettuccine, though. Absolutely. Look at that thing. It's a big, thick thing yeah. that can really whip the ball. Everybody has to have a go-to shot. You know, Kareem had the sky hook. Larry Bird had the jump shot. Michael Jordan's got about 47 of them. But Steffes has got the noodle swing down the line. Another chance for the championship to break the streak, and it's over. Karch Karai. So the defending champ, Smith and Stoklos, can't handle Karch Karai and Kent Steffes, the new kings of the beach, the new kids on the block. And as we end it, 1992, we start up once again here in 1993, Karch Karai and Kent Steffes win the Miller Lite Hawaiian Open. We'll be back after this. Kilaloop Sunglasses by Bao Shin Lom is pleased to present the Kilaloop Kill Award. Today's Kilaloop Kill Award goes to none other than the king of the beach. The new king of the beach. His name is Kent Steffes. Yes, Kent Steffes, who registered 14 kills, is the Kilaloop Kill Award winner this week. Bao Shin Lom pleased to present $500 to Kent Steffes. 
for his killer performance. Cry and Steph is win it easily. Let's get down to the beach in Paul Sunderland. Well, surprise, surprise, Karai and Stephas have won another tournament. Uh, congratulations to you. A, a great performance in the final, but you had some very tough matches earlier in the tournament. Was, was there a turning point in this competition that got your game in gear? I don't know if there was a turning point. I mean, we had three straight games from the quarterfinals, semis, and the finals of the winners, which were decided in overtime by one point. And uh, on the f side change where I got five in a row, I just sat back and said, well, we're up, and I'm just going to bang away, serves as hard as I can, and we got five points in a row. Uh, how would you evaluate the play of your team uh, in the middle of winter, even though it doesn't look like it in Honolulu? I know you haven't had that much time on the sand yet this year. Well, I think there were probably more close games this whole weekend between all the teams because none of us were playing consistently. One team would be up, then make a lot of mistakes. And that was the first match where one team really played well, I think, was the final one we played well. What did you uh, work to improve on during the offseason? You know, you're still uh, you know, young in your career, and uh, I know you work very hard during the offseason. What do you want to improve on most? Again, I, I want to improve on my conditioning every year and my strength every year. Um, I'm trying to hit deeper in the court as opposed to straight down. You get blocked more and you get straight down. I'm trying to get my arm up and hit hard and, and hard and deep. Karch, you told me uh, for the first time in about a decade you've been able to take some serious quality time off. Did you feel fresh? Did you feel that that time off helped you coming into this? I feel mentally, I feel great. Uh, physically, we're training through this tournament, and so I don't think neither of us felt as strong as we would like to. Um, and the Hawaii heat's a little, little tough to deal with after we've been in the rain in Southern California for last month. But uh, I feel good, and we're, uh, we've now got another seven weeks to really get ready for the season. All right, it was hot in Honolulu, and as usual, Karai and Steffes were up to the task. What will this year bring? We'll just have to wait and see. Could it be 15, 16, 18? We'll have to wait and see. Back to you, Chris.